Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first look at the very latest frame from the team at Flynosaurus. Now, I have built quite a lot of Flynosaurus frames on the channel already. I've built a couple of ethers, a standard one, uh, one with seven inch arms. I've uh, built a BFF. I've built a Skull V2. And this new one is the Skull V3 that is released today. Now, this is a little bit different than the previous version and has lots of uh, improvements over the original Skull V2. And every single part on this frame is available with at least one option. So you can very much build the frame that you want to have for the quad you want to build. So, for example, the bottom part uh, comes as either I have it here with the separate arms or with a solid piece. Or you can have five or six inch arms. And with the six inch arms, you can usually have a short X version or a classic X. The cage width, the width between the two side plates here on my original Skull V2 was a whopping 40 millimeters and that meant i could get lots of stuff inside this one is the skinny 20 millimeter version but there are 20 30 and 40 millimeters as well it follows a lot of the same aesthetics as the original skull v2 in that the way the base plates go together and the way that the upper cage is vibration isolated on the uh, the individual tpu printed mounts is exactly the same the TPU mounts are available in different versions. So on mine, I have this kind of skinny version, which I'm happy with, uh, but there are versions for all the different action camera types. And at the back, I have the TPU mount for the antenna, but there's a carbon one that will be coming standard. Uh, this is actually an option. So what this means is that you can pretty much build out the Skull V3 frame that suits the way that you want to fly. And I really like that idea. Now, there's three standard versions of this that you can order that are kind of pre-configured. Uh, there's a TAC edition, uh, which has a 20 millimeter middle part, uh, solid bottom frame. There's a specialist edition and also a classic, which can uh, ha either have five or six inch arms and comes with that wider 40 millimeter separated main cage on the top. Now, as well as those three additions that are kind of put together by Flynosaurus, um, there is a configurator to allow you to build the custom frame that you want for how you actually want to fly. A couple of things to note on this is there is a little bit more build space in here, despite the fact that the cage is a lot thinner. I like this slightly more aggressive, almost insect-like appearance of this particular configuration that I've got here over the original Skull V2. But the bottom plate is a little bit deeper by about eight ten millimeters than the original. Now there are the same little holes in the TPU so that you can mount elements like your receiver and stuff on top of the TPU elements with a zip tie and I did that in my Skull V2 build but that extra real estate down here at the bottom does mean that there's a little bit more room for everything. Now as I said this is released by Flynosaurus today it's on their website I will put a link below uh, but I'm actually going to build this one out in another video so let me get all the pieces in front of myself and let me just show you what I'm going to put in here in the build. First are T-Motor F40 Pro 2s. Uh, these are quite expensive motors, but they are very nice, quite low profile. They have the knurling on the top to hold the prop in place. Uh, really small air gap. Uh, these should work quite nicely. I've got the six inch arms on this model. I quite like for freestyle flying six inch arms with five inch props. And these motors should fit nicely and the cables are nice and long, so it should get into the middle to fit onto my 4-in-1 ESC. So let me grab that and show you what I want to use for that. 4-in-1 ESCs is this Icon AK32 35 amp all-in-one ESC setup. This is the version two, um, has the anti-vibration gom grommets and uh, cap and things as well. So we'll be able to stall this into the bottom of the stack. 35 amps should give me more than enough headroom to power the motors with five inch props. Next piece is the flight controller. Uh, this will go above it. This is the Matek F722 standard. Having a lot of fun with Matek flight controllers at the moment. I haven't actually built one of these before, so looking forward to having a go with that. There's a couple of little printed pieces. This uh, holds the camera in place 
and I have a racer from Runcam. Uh, this one's NTSC, but that's still going to work absolutely fine with the goggles that I have. And then for the video transmitter, I'm going to be using a TBS Unify Pro Race 2. Now, I'm going to need to get an MMCX adapter uh, to go into the back of this. It doesn't come in the packet with these, so I'm going to have to order one of those because uh, the antenna that I've uh, got for this build is a little bit different. It's this thing here. This is the IB Crazy Minion. I haven't used one of these before, so I need to have a go and uh, mount this at the back. Again, that TPU mount hopefully is going to give me a little bit of protection in the crash. Short and stubby, uh, and we'll see how that performs. So that's all the kit that's going to go into this. So join me in the next video where I will do a quick build in one kind of 15 minute video, put this stuff together, and we'll take it out and give it a fly. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.